Hey, this is Jesse with Razor Sharp Networks. I got another pro tip for you on how to manage files utilizing the File Explorer and the difference between File Explorer and Internet Explorer and uh, how we uh, here at Razor Sharp like to manage our files and directories in SharePoint in the Office 365 environment. So uh, I'm gonna go real through real quick. You know, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you're accessing Office 365 in the SharePoint environment through Internet Explorer. You're gonna to wanna to log in. And an important aspect of this is make sure that you select the Keep Me Logged In option when you do log into the SharePoint environment. Let's try that again. We're gonna try and do it without automatically logging in so I can demonstrate this for you. And again, make sure that when you do log in, you select the keep me signed in function, and this will help out with authentication with your shortcuts and also then re-logging back into the system at a later time. Once you do log in, you wanna make sure that you do navigate to the SharePoint uh, site collection that you're working on. Uh, if you've only been invited into one site collection, uh, it might be the one that you're automatically logged into. And then what I would recommend also is creating a shortcut in Internet Explorer so that you can come directly back to the site collection and access the information that you're looking for. Now this is Internet Explorer and of course, uh, when we access our document libraries from Internet Explorer, we get the uh, document library view. Uh, this gives us the option to manage the documents through the browser. Now this gets a lot of functionality in here. Um, we can upload, we can create new documents here, we can manage, move, you know, we can do pretty much uh, whatever it is that we need to do within the uh, document library. However, a lot of people are not familiar with this type of interface, so it causes some challenges for them. So, and, and it did for me too as well. So what we like to do is uh, basically na navigate to the document library and we go over to the all documents tab and we're gonna select this option here that says View in File Explorer. Now, of course, what we're doing is we're actually opening up this document library inside of our File Explorer, which is the same program that we utilize to navigate our computer directories. So as you can see here, the document library that exists in Internet Explorer on Office 365 has now been opened with the File Explorer by selecting the option to open in File Explorer. So what we would do here now is we would navigate to the quick access link. We're gonna right click on that and we're gonna go ahead and pin this document library to our quick access. And if we've authenticated correctly, it'll create a link directly to it. Now. So that ought to do it for the training in regards to how to create a shortcut and also open up Internet Explorer. If you have challenges with this, please open up a support request at support.razorsharpnetworks.com.